Amber Heard is not the only person that's running around trying to squeeze out crocodile tears. This next story involves me and Patrice Cullors. You remember Patrice Cullors? She is the founder of Black Lives Matter. The movement is all about black lives. Put tons of money, give, give, donate money to rinse yourself of white guilt. Well, I've been working on a documentary about Patrice Cullors. I've been wondering, I've been asking, I've been searching for the answer to this question. Black Lives Matter reported to have raised more than $90 million on the back of George Floyd and other black people that died at the hands of police, as they say. And no one seems to be able to account for the dollars. So I thought I would like to take a look at this. Patrice jumped on Instagram as we were recording this and I was outside of her home. And here is her explaining um, what took place. This morning, I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside. Um, and uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property. Uh, and for some reason, it seems like she thought my house was that. Um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous that anybody, any stranger come outside of my house, but it's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another <laughs> Black woman, who is actually working as a part of a Sounds right like agenda. Patrice is afraid of black people. That seems like a little bit of racial profiling, Patrice. You might want to check that. First and foremost, she's a liar. We know this. It's why I've nicknamed the movement Black Lives Matter. She starts out by saying, I woke up to Candace Owens outside of my house. It was about 10 a.m., Patrice. You're lazy. And it obviously had no idea she was inside. She contradicts herself when she retells the story. First, she says, Candace demands that I come outside. That never, absolutely never happened. But she's trying to create this imagery of her being afraid and scared and me going, Patrice Cullors, come outside. But then she immediately jumps and says, well, Candace didn't know where she was at. And she was asking if this was the residence that Black Lives Matter brought, uh, purchased so that black people could, as she said in the press and Black Lives Matter, have a creative space to create videos. Those two ideas conflict with one another. It is true that I showed up at one of the many million dollar residences um, that are connected to Black Lives Matter. I had no idea that Patrice Cullors lived there. I had no idea that she was inside. Uh, there were no demands made. There was a security, car, a security guard that was outside uh, who happened to be white, might be relevant. And I simply asked him if there was anyone available that we could speak to about the purchase of this home. All right, guys, digital eye strain. You all know what I'm talking about. We are staring at our screens all day, and sometimes it causes headaches or sore eyes or watery eyes or fatigue. That is exactly why I love the Blue Blocks Blue Light computer glasses. These glasses really come in handy during the day when I'm on my computer answering emails and reading up on the latest news stories to prep for the next show. They have very stylish frames that have been featured in both GQ and Vogue. Unlike other blue light glasses companies, Blue Blocks uses science-backed technology to ensure that they work. Since I've been using them, I feel like all of those digital headaches have been going away, which has been great. The glasses come in non-prescription, prescription, and reading options. Blue Blocks ships worldwide in rapid time. Go to blueblocks.com slash Candice and use coupon code Candice to save 20%. That's blueblocks.com, B-L-U-B-L-O-X.com slash Candice and use coupon code Candice to save 20%. Now, in case you are wondering why I was confused about which mansion or high-end home I was at, I just want to take you through Patrice Culler's real estate empire that she's been building in the background of the Black Lives Matter movement, okay? So she spent $3.2 million on high-end homes between 2016 and 2021 at the peak of the movement. In 2016, she bought a home in Inglewood, California for $510,000. In 2018, she purchased a $590,000 home in South Los Angeles. In January, she purchased a $415,000 custom ranch in Conyers, Georgia, which features a private airplane hangar. That sounds nice. 
In 2021, she purchased a $1.4 million home in exclusive Los Angeles neighborhood of Topanga Canyon. That's the one that I was at. In 2022, they spent nearly $6 million. This is the organization directly in their donations to purchase a 6,500 square foot California mansion. And they made the purchase through an intermediary named Dwayne Pascal, who is the financial manager for an LLC owned by Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors and her wife. Uh, Speaking of her wife, BLM Canada in the summer of 2021 purchased a three-story Victorian mansion in Toronto to turn it into a $10,000 square foot art center and a meeting space. The $6.3 million mansion was bought by M4BJ, in case you're wondering what that is. It's an acronym for a Toronto-based nonprofit set up by Janaya Khan, the wife of Patrice Cullors. All of this seems a little bit shady. And by the way, that $6 million mansion, that 6,500 square foot one, I should mention that Patrice recently came out and confessed that she lied. You know, they told us it was for arts and craft and creative activities for the Black Lives Matter community. Well, she came out after I showed up at her place and said, actually, you know what? I lied. And we actually have been using this for some other things, some other things, including her son's birthday party, her young son's birthday party. And also they hosted a party to celebrate the inauguration of Joe Biden. I thought she said she was scared for her kids. Who throws a celebration for Joe Biden if you've got any fear regarding children? But none of those facts actually matter to Patrice. She actually was able to work herself up into what I would describe as a histrionic personality disorder, maybe, and made herself cry on Instagram. Take a look. Y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this... This, what happened this morning, is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. Yeah, I really need my child to be safe. There's an eight-month pregnant woman outside asking politely uh, if she can speak to somebody. And I don't know why I'm still sleeping and my child's not even here, but I hope that you believe these non-tears that are coming down my face. Here's what actually happened when I showed up at her house. Take a look. I did see some cars that were loaded, so there's definitely somebody home. Hello. Hi, hi, um, I was just looking to speak to whoever is at this property because it's listed as the Black Lives Matter property. Sir? Hello? Are you instructed not to speak to anybody? We're not trying to harass you. We'll gladly leave. We're just wondering if we can speak to anybody. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. So the moral of this saga is that Patrice Cullors continues to lie. Black Lives Matter continues to lie. And the reason that she's lying and trying to squeeze out these last victim crocodile tears is because she knows the truth is coming. I've been working on this documentary for months to expose Black Lives Matter. It has frustrated me being a person that has always been telling the truth about what they were doing. Obviously, what looked to me to be a money laundering scheme was not exposed. But it seems finally the world is ready to hear the truth. And they can do so when they watch my documentary, which I'm doing with The Daily Wire. And it is going to get so much worse for this organization when people realize just how fraudulent they've been. Thanks for joining me on this segment of Candace. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. To watch or listen to the full show, become a member at dailywire.com slash subscribe.